So I need to make a few mini pallet coasters, and by a few, I mean 200. This is part of my ongoing series of torturously large batch projects, which started as pallet wood shot glasses and evolved into diamond pattern coasters, candles, screwdrivers, along with a few others. It's a yearly challenge that I like to do just to ensure that I still feel emotions. Anyway, this journey begins by first going on a pilgrimage for the perfectly pristine prototypical pallet, which I just happened to stumble upon immediately on the side of the road. I use this perfect pallet to pull precise measurements from, which I record and then produce a three-dimensional CAD drawing so that I can then easily scale down every dimension at once. I ended up figuring out a one-tenth scale to be the best scale ratio, making these four inch by 4.8 inch coasters. And with the perfect prototypical pallet preserved on a pedestal, I can dig into my pallet slat collection and get to work. I'm not going to pretend like mini pallet coasters are an original idea, but in my opinion, as the self-proclaimed pallet professor, I've never quite seen it done the right way before. Some key characteristics of pallets include fork pockets to pick it up from the side, the stamp, which lists important information like where it was manufactured and whether it was heat or chemically treated, the nails that hold the pieces together, and probably most important, the fact that they're actually made from pallet wood. Now, I'm not going to call out anybody specifically, but all the mini pallets that I've seen don't have all of this. Like this one here from Ben from Moby Design. No fork pocket, no stamp, and it's made from skateboards? What do I even do with something like that? So, with that being said, prior to assembly, I'm going to move down to the laser to engrave some of these pieces. This starts by cutting out some spaces in some quarter inch MDF that are the exact size of the pallet runners. This will hold those pieces in place while I engrave them with a pallet stamp. I'll mark these as American made and heat treated pallets. And while I'm at it, I cut out spaces for the wide pallet slats too, and engrave 200 of them with the Isotunes logo, and 200 of them with the Jackmanworks logo, which will both go on the underside of the pallet. And while I'm already letting the robots do all the work for me, I use the same quarter inch MDF, and cut what looks like the front of a Jeep in it, but no, this is much more useful than that. These will be pieces that will turn into a jig that will assist me in assembling all of the pallets, Make it go from a process that is excruciating to simply just agonizing.
Now for those nail holes, I did some tests on a prototype to compare pin nails to fake laser engraved nails, and the fake nails just looked cleaner. Plus it was extremely quick to do considering there's 200 of these, so I went with that option. Plus this is the internet where everything is made up and the points don't matter. So this means we're done, right? Well, not quite. There's still varnishing, polishing, and packaging. And before that, there's sanding along with some sanding with a side of sanding and uh, some sanding for dessert too. Well, there's 200 pallets made from pallet wood. I torture myself at your expense. I hope you at least appreciate that. Now, if you wanna get your hands on a piece of history, I know it's a bit of a stretch, but you can do that thanks to Isotunes, the sponsor of this video, and a longtime supporter of the stuff that I do here. Now, Isotunes makes hearing protection for the shop that isn't just that, it's also Bluetooth headphones at the same time. Now, they come in a bunch of different configurations depending on your personal preference. My go-to right now is the Free Aware, which I'm currently wearing, completely free from wires, a full day of battery life on board, even a long day, and then with the charging case that comes with it, that gives you a few more days of battery life. There's also earmuffs, if you prefer that, like like the Link 2.0, you saw me wearing during this build, or a very basic lightweight pair like the Air Defender. And then there are the wire connected options like the Pro that I really like that has a hook over your ear, it's very secure. The Extra actually magnetizes when you pull them apart and put them back together, that pauses and plays your music. Ultimately, it is PPE that you actually wanna wear, and that is a win in my book. Now here's the deal, you can get a pair of these coasters for free with your headphone order. All you need to do, click the link down below, add the coasters to your cart along with your selected headphones, and then enter the code COASTER at checkout. Now it's only available with a minimum spend of $100 in the US only, and obviously while well, supplies last, because I'm not making any more of these. But thank you so much for watching and being interested in my silly projects. See you next time.